Okay. Uh, now it's time, of course. There we go. Now, welcome back, everybody, to the channel. Another Swiss Scissor One video. In today's video, let's go ahead and do some flight simulation stuff. But not in any flight simulator. This time around, it's a it's a real one. Yes, my flight school got a brand new toy. This is an Alsim Cirrus flight simulator. We can see inside. This is what the cockpit looks like, and it looks exactly like a Cirrus SR20. Yes, what they've done here is completely recreate a Cirrus cockpit, just like it is in real life, with actual Garmin G1000 uh, panels. And with the whole Garmin perspective display, every button works, of course, just like it does in real life. Of course, there's another big feature right here. The bits of parish, can I pull it? And while everybody, for today's video, they invited me to you know, have a bit of fun, a bit of flying fun in this interesting flight suitor, especially test out some emergency situations where you would, for example, pull the parachute as well. And um, let's do that today. But before we go flying, let's do some further explanation on how, what, what this is especially. So this whole software, this whole cockpit here is controlled, of course, by something that's called IOS, which, which I guess stands for Instructor Operation Center, which would be IOC doesn't matter. Now this operation center is normally controlled of course by a flight instructor. In this case this will be Max. This is my flight instructor and he's of course gonna set to me some failures today and this is gonna be really fun. So let's just go ahead and hop into the cockpit and start up the airplane. All right so welcome to the cockpit of this beautiful Cirrus. Um, let's go ahead and we'll quickly start this up. I'm just gonna remove this flap. This is of course this is the keys and uh, let's just go ahead and put that in right here. Of course again this works just like real life. This is actually not not that much of a toy. Really, this is a professional flight simulator. You can actually lock the hours that you spend here in this flight simulator for your pilot's license. That's no problem at all, which I think is really cool. So let's just go ahead and quickly start this up. Let's go. Okay, fine. There we go. We've got some nice power. Looking good. Now, just for the sake of it, I'm not gonna put on my seatbelt for this flight because I'm funny like that. All right, let's go ahead and taxi to the runway. Kannst mich auf die runway putten. Kein Bock zu taxiing. Es mach. Okay, so we have spent so much time now taxiing to the runway. It is now time to take off. I'll put the flaps here. Everything is set. Put the landing light on here, and uh, let's go. Runway zero eight identified. Everything looks good. Let's go full power right here. Good. Takeoff power is set. Now the airspeed is coming alive here. And now it's time for rotate. Good. We've just taken off here in the flight simulator. We can... Now of course here all the screens work just like they do in real life. It's actually quite crazy. Apparently you could theoretically even build these screens into a real aircraft and they would work. Uh, and that's really, really cool. Now, of course, after all, what this flight simulator was kind of made for is testing out scenarios that you wouldn't really be one of testing out in, in real life and, you know, training scenarios. Like, you know, again, pulling the parachute or maybe, I don't know. What would it feel like to be inverted? This is what flying in Australia is like, probably. Now, a little bit of a dis disclaimer, the, the flying that I'm doing here, of course, I would never do in real life. Don't want the FAA to get involved. I'm looking at you, Tro Trevor. Sorry. And you know what? I think this this service could actually be quite nicely used as a stunt plane. This is performing very well. Let's maybe go ahead and get out of the situation. How do we get out of the situation? By doing a little bit of a loop. Oh yeah. All planes just died. Great. All right, though, now it is time to get a little bit serious. Let's maybe check out some emergency situation. Again, my flight instructor is now going to throw some interesting situations at me. Whoopsie. And uh, we're just going to see how we can react to that. Maybe jump out of the airplane. We don't know. Now, let's first of all start with a little bit of an engine failure situation. What happens if the engines fail above mountains? Uh, we've recently seen a tutorial by a YouTuber. Um, on how not to <laughs> on how not to <clears throat> act when you have an engine failure above mountains. Uh, let's today do it a little bit more uh, properly, I guess. Maybe also in the Cirrus way with the parachute. And oh no, we've got an oil pressure alert. What do we do? Yeah. Ah, 
there we go. Now the engine has died. It is now very important, first of all, to get the best gliding speed right here. But that one, I'm just gonna actually, you know what? I'm just gonna, for the sake of it, turn on the autopilot and have the flight level change turned on. Let's set that to 100 knots, which is the best glide speed of the Cirrus indeed. I have now set the autopilot so that it automatically holds that airspeed of 100 knots, okay? Now, what you would normally do, of course, in the case of a Cirrus plane, you would pull the parachute, but not right away, of course. Um, first of all, you would do some troubleshooting. Uh, so I'm just, I would just turn off the boost pump, the fuel pump, maybe switch tanks as well. We have like this alternate air switch down here, which you would pull to maybe see if we can get the engine also especially restarted. Let's go ahead. And that won't do anything at all. Engine restart is rather unsuccessful. Now before, of course, we pull the parachute, we might just want to, you know, look out for landing spots with our parachute. We don't really want to come down in the middle of the city of Innsbruck. That would be uh, unfortunate. While checking, of course, our altitude above ground. We're right now 2,500 feet above ground. It's very important to pull that parachute at least 600 feet above ground. Of course, it would be a lot better to pull that a little bit further up. Now we've got this green grass area in front of us. I think it's looking quite good so let's just go ahead and pull the parachute indeed now you would in real life need to pull a lot of force down here here ah, there we go we can hear a noise and that's good now it's time of course ah, there we go but let's just go ahead and make sure to turn off that aeroplane here we go Tr shut off the fuel tanks as well now it's quite unfortunate that I'm <clears throat> not wearing a seat belt maybe I should that's a good idea to put that on it's very important to sit straight because the impact itself is a little bit hard. It's, you know, not that of a smooth landing. If you've ever flown Ryanair, that's what that could feel like. Now, of course, last, let's make sure to turn off the whole aeroplane. And uh, I think we're landing. Ah, ah, green grass area. That's fine. Reiner landing. Now, something else we can of course simulate very well here is some weather. Now, we're still spawned in at Innsbruck Airport, but you cannot see any mountains because the clouds are hanging quite low. Let's maybe try to attempt to take off here in some pretty harsh weather. Weather that you should probably not fly at, okay? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, maybe try, see if we can put that nose oh, from that ground. Okay, uh oh. Let's maybe try to <clears throat> let's maybe try to gain some speed right here. Come on. Gain some proper speeds. Oh damn! We're flying backwards! We are flying backwards. That's some wind speed. Good. Good. I think that's what you know flying a Cessna 152 feels like. Yes, everybody, we have become a helicopter, the Cirrus helicopter. We can now do a little bit of a, of a nice sightseeing flight. Now, here's a little bit of a tutorial on how to die in this case. Let's turn around. Here you go. Stop, stop, yeah, that, stop. That's, that's what happens stop, here. Stop, 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 stop. Ah, uh, there's a building coming towards stop, us. Stop, 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 stop. I, I like this flight simulator. You know what? It would be a dream to have this in your basement, of course. There's a catch. Oh, we're taking off again. There's a catch, though, about this interesting flight simulator. It's probably the cost. How much is this? Yes, flight simulators like this like to cost as much as a as much as much a real airplane, actually. Um, not all too affordable. And again, this is, you know, this was this is meant for professional purposes. We're now in the clouds. God damn it. This is um, the best flight simulator experience I've ever had. Yeah, we have no control of this plane whatsoever. Good. All right. Something else you can, of course, do is spawn in at night. Let's maybe perform a bit of a landing right here, okay? So let's just lose a little bit of speed. We're a little bit high. Now, FYI, if I'm going to cut away this landing now, then maybe that's because the landing uh, sucks. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always. Good night. Now thank you to all my members here on YouTube like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, British Loser, One, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy.